<clears throat> I am Jasmine Masters and I have something to say. A lot of you young queens want to know, what is some good advice for young queens? So I'm here to give you that advice. My advice to you young queens is keep your asses in school and quit worrying about being a drag queen when you're 12 and 13 and 10. Keep your ass in school and get an education. Now, when you get out of school, keep your ass a job. You know why? Because drag is not cheap. You got to have a job. You got to have money to buy your own shit. You need a goddamn car to do gigs. And then another thing is a lot of you queens want to hit the stage so goddamn quick. Baby, it's not all about hitting the stage so damn fast. You know what? When I started doing drag, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just having fun with it. But not knowing that I was setting and planting seeds around my damn community. See, a lot of y'all want to go in these clubs and do these dev drops and shablams, which y'all asses need to be doing and finding out how y'all can help raise money for your community. There's a lot of nonprofit organizations out there, like, um, what is that damn place called? Uh, the Imperial Court System. They have fun, all they do is fundraising and raise money for a good cause for our community. You could go there, raise money, do a good cause and show your damn talents because in all of them coordinations and them events, somebody in their own the club, they have a show night, they have something. That's how I got my start, just doing these free shows, not knowing a damn thing, but it was paying off. So instead of y'all trying to run your asses in the club thinking y'all going to be the first one or the next one to do this damn layout, shablam, fallout, bust your backs and head and shoulders all the fuck open, why don't y'all go do some shit for your community and get this shit going in your damn area? Because without your community, you ain't going to have shit. If you don't set your ass up in your community, you're not going to be able to fall back on a damn thing but Taco Bell. Because you don't have shit in your community. You ain't never took your ass out there trying to help raise money or even give your time to do anything good for the community. The only thing you want to do is get on the goddamn stage and try to make all the money. Let me tell you something. I understand this shit is expensive and you need to make some money. But sometimes when you give, you receive a blessing. And I gave a lot in my career. And I received these goddamn blessings and I don't take them for granted at all. Because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But as I got older and I started looking at the places I've been and the places that I was going, I understood why the shit I was doing, not that somebody told me, but I understand the, sh the shit I was doing was leading me up to where I'm at today. So y'all need to go out there and quit trying to wait for somebody to give you a handout and think the shit going to be fast and quick because nothing that you really want should be handed to you fast and quick. You know why? Because you're going to let it go to waste because you're not going to value it. You're not going to take it uh, seriously. You're going to take it for granted. Like, it's, oh, I got it this quick. I get it again. Oh, it don't work like that, boo-boo. Not in the drag world. It's a million of you young bitches out there that want to get in drag. Honey, what y'all y'all going to do? Look alike and do the damn death drops and shablams? That's all y'all want to do? And prance? And pose? It's more to that. Y'all know the answers better start finding y'all some characters and start doing some type of illusions or start doing some really strong mimicking us the damn people. I don't look like nobody I impersonate. But when I'm on that stage, you best believe I got that mannerism down so the people in the audience can see that person is doing this person. Y'all just want to be in Leah Tarson and hit the ground. That ain't all that ain't, that ain't all it, baby. It's a whole lot to being a new queen. You got to get your own look. You got to know how to pay for your shit. Have your own shit. Know how to get there. Know how to act. Know how to walk in some shoes. Don't go out there getting them high ass high heels that you can't walk in. If you can't walk in them shoes like you in tennis shoes, them are not the shoes for you. They're not. It's a lot I can tell y'all about the new drag shit. But the main thing is y'all need to start planting some seeds in y'all communities. Find out who's running these damn organizations. See how you can lend your talent and everything else. Because you want to get seen. And a lot of these clubs ain't going to let y'all young asses up on that stage just to go out there and party. People work. Let me tell you something. It's bitches in this goddamn business that's been doing this shit when I was in diapers. You hear me? And they still doing this shit today. Ain't nobody trying to hand y'all young asses shit because then nobody get the shit easy. Bitches had to work with tables and chairs when it's pouring raining outside. They had to still give a thousand percent because they have four people in the audience and the goddamn bartenders. 
Y'all want to walk into the clubs and say, oh, I'm here. I want to. No, ma'am. Y'all ask me to go to kindergarten and drag. That's giving your time and your talents to a good cause in your community. That's what you need to do. There's contests around here. Some of y'all think y'all too good to jump in the contest. Baby, you ain't even got a mark in drag. Just because you learned how to put on makeup on YouTube and you, you got good makeup skills from YouTube, don't mean you entertaining on stage. They don't want to see you pointing around here. They want to see you bitch dropping it like it's hot. This is the time where hoes are dropping it like it's hot. They don't want to see you up there being a the model. We ain't here for no fashion show. We here to see a bitch perform. If you're not performing and you sitting there just being a fashion model, baby, you could have did that without taking a bitch spot who needs some coins. If you're going to be a fashion model, you might as well hit the damn runway. So if you know you're not a performing person and you think you got it, you want to do this, baby, listen, I ain't going to tell you how to perform because everybody got to express their way another way. But get your shit together and go out there and enter a contest. Go do some benefit shows. Do something to get your talent out there because ain't nobody about to let you up in these doors and they shouldn't because you have to crawl like you... Everybody else did. Baby, we had to crawl. Do you hear me? Before bitches could get up, walk, and run. So you think we're going to hand it over? No, we're not. I think all your young asses need to do the minimum of at least 10 benefit shows. 10 contests, 10 benefit shows, 5 and 5, because y'all need that Y'all need that schooling. But the main thing is keep your ass a J-O-B, because this drag shit is not cheap. You need to learn how to make your own clothes. You need to know how to do your own fucking hair. Make your own music. That's the shit you need to be knowing if you want to be a damn drag queen, baby queen. What do I should do? I learn how to do all your shit. Because if you buy some fabric and you have somebody make that shit for you, that's about $700. You got fabric. You got them making your shit. Daytime. They're going to charge your ass something. You see all this good glamorous shit, but baby, you ain't worried about, oh, how much is that going to cost until it hits you in the ass? And you know how it hit us in the ass? We go to work to make our money. Some of us have a day job, night job, middle job, and do drag on the side. So you always keep your ass a J-O-B with some guarantee money. Then you do drag on the side. If you ain't got no guarantee and you trying to do drag, it ain't going to work because you're going to be one of them borrowing hoes and we don't need no more bitches borrowing shit. Bring your own motherfucking shit, bitch.